At a time when the country was simmering in freedom fever, a spark of genius named Ramamurthy was born on 30th January 1922 into an illustrious family. Heeding the advice of his father, the young Ramamurthy joined the Madras Medical College in 1938 and had a brilliant academic career. He was steered into the then uncharted territory of neurosurgery by his surgical master and mentor Dr Narsimhaiyar. Selected by the Madras government to train in neurosurgery under Robotham, he reached Newcastle upon Tyne on 2nd January 1949. He learned the ropes from the British, American, European and Canadian schools of neurosurgery. Armed with such vivid knowledge in neurosurgery, Professor Ramamurthy embarked on a new journey back home in India and joined the unit of Sangam Lal on Vijaya Dasami. Imagine General Hospital of 1950, one of the best hospitals in the country, not having a, a suction apparatus. Somehow we put it together, and that machine used to. Make such a thundering noise that the whole hospital used to vibrate, and people used to say, "Ah, there is Ram Murthy operating." The visit of Lawrence Walsh and Dennis Williams from Queen Square, London, in the early 1960s helped establish the Madras School of Stereotaxy. In 1967, a separate head injury ward was established, the first of its kind in India, and in 1970. His dream of setting up an institute similar to what he saw at Montreal was realized. He served as the director of the Institute of Neurology and was principal of the Madras Medical College till his retirement in 1978. Not resting on his laurels, he went on to create another center of excellence in Madras, the Dr. A. Lakshmipati Neurosurgical Center at the Voluntary Health Services Hospital. An ardent teacher, many students have been trained under Chief, as he was called, both at the MIN and at VHS. Sensing the need to streamline neurological sciences as a specialty, Professor B R M, together with Drs Jacob Chandy, S T Narsimhan, and Baldev Singh, started the Neurological Society of India in 1951 at Madras. The NSI has presently grown to a strength of almost 2500 members and has reached the stature that you see here today. Anywhere you went in the world, India was known as Ramamurthy's country and he spread the word of Indian neurosurgery throughout the world. The WFNS and the WFN were held in India in 1989 when Professor B R M became the honorary president of the WFNS. He worked hard to spread awareness amongst public about common neurological problems like epilepsy, head injury and meningomyelocele. Many awards and titles were conferred upon him and he had the rare distinction of being elected as the fellow of all three science academies of India. The greatness of the man we all know as BRM or chief was in his persona. The person who would always make it a point to talk to the junior neurosurgeons and encourage them many young people feel that they do not have all the technology that they want it is impossible the person who saw a massive shift in technology during his lifetime and not only accepted it but also encouraged his associates to develop their skills here we have to take on The younger generation is very enthusiastic. The new technology is very good, so they will take on. The person who touched the lives of many with a kind word, a personal gesture, with fatherly advice, with mentorship, and so much more. Professor B. Ramamurthy, B. R. M. or Chief, however you may call him, he is still with us, with all of us, in his students, in the legacy of his work. and in the NSI